that right to me and I gladly stand up <laughs> next to you. All right. I had to hit record because you were singing that song. And it was an amazing song. We're going so okay. to hit the start. This right. is the actual start of the podcast. All right. All right, welcome to the Inside the U, the ultimate adult hockey podcast. I'm here with Jerry the Greek. What up, what up? Larry Legend. Yo. And I'm Steve, a.k.a. Cap. All right, we're here for our first UHO podcast. Larry <laughs> opening up a beer. Already, already, already <laughs> started. <laughs> we didn't even get started. He's I'm already done beforehand. I'm honestly super excited that Jerry's... The first ever podcast, Jerry singing I'm Proud to be an American <laughs> in the podcast. Sometimes you just gotta be patriotic. You feel it you feel it in your soul. You just gotta <laughs> sing it. That's all it is. <laughs> this is gonna be the funniest beginning of a first ever podcast <laughs> ever. Dude. You really hit record though, huh? I hit I had to. You, you, know you were like fine. belting it out. Yeah, that's fine. But to. when I get discovered on this podcast, then <laughs> you guys are gonna be left with just two and that's on you. All right. <laughs> So uh, this podcast is going to be, you know, about our league, obviously. Hopefully uh, our players are listening. We have some pretty sweet, awesome guys on our on our rosters here. And uh, we can, we're can we going to have guest uh, podcasters, but for the first one, we're just going to have these uh, main three. Um, but the main part of this podcast is selecting the uh, UHL All-Stars, which is on March 25th uh, at 8 p.m. So we have to go through and pick out who's going to be um, the pot, the all star. There's a lot of noise in the background. You just dropped your pen right yeah, next to the mic. That's what pen. happens. All right. So we have gold, silver, and bronze. We're probably going to have to have twelve on each team. So um, uh, eight. I'm glad you're telling me about the structure now. <laughs> now that I'm prepared, <laughs> it's eight. Eight from each division is what it's going to probably add up. Eight, to eight from each division. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we got a lot of good players. I mean, you know, we're going to have to kind of um, sort out some of the uh, sandbaggers, you know, <laughs> some, yeah. some of the guys that are in uh, bronze and uh, probably shouldn't be. That's all right, because those people are probably not listening anyway. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> all right, so that's the first thing. What else do you want to talk about, Larry? Um, <clears throat> Mr. Structure. Yeah, well, I wanted to offer some structure for the podcast, but Steve didn't seem to think that that was a good idea. <laughs> We're going to go on record saying it was two to one, and then somehow Steve just yeah, started I pressing just, record. We'll then, see how it goes. Uh, yeah. That's how it started. So. But like Steve said, we want to bring everyone insider info and updates around the league. We want to make dis- or decisions in front of people. Steve just spit out beer because I'm, I'm getting just, into my structure. <laughs> no, I'm just laughing thinking about uh, Jerry singing that song. <laughs> All right. The podcast. So we do. We want to bring you guys behind the uh, behind the scenes stuff around the league. Um, I want to bring you guys uh, game of the week selections, leaderboard updates, playoff picture as we uh, wrap up the season. We'll recap all of our recent updates with the commissioner's notes. Gotcha. Um, and I know Jerry wants to get into uh, Dusty the Beaver segment. By the way, Jerry is Dusty the Beaver. No, no, so. you're not supposed to tell everybody that. Uh, I'm friends with Dusty the Beaver. See, we, didn't, we didn't do anything before uh, the podcast, so I didn't know that. We could cut that. Yeah, we'll cut that out. No. No, I'm, I'm not cutting it. that out. I'm hitting, I'm hitting end and uploading it. <laughs> That's it, dude. So watch what you say. Don't get Should have been canceled. told this beforehand. You know? And this is why we need structure. So, yeah, <laughs> Jerry wants to have uh, Dusty segments. Um, we do want to promote uh, everyone, you know, people people who are in the league. We want to promote everyone's businesses and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Do what we can to help out and other local businesses. Uh, go ahead, Jerry. So, basically, Dusty Beaver's Brew of the Week. Um, we're going to talk about one local brewery, right? So, on this segment, I'm going to introduce a beer from a local brewery because, listen, it's important to support the mom and pop shops, right? Yeah. Right. So yeah. for our first uh, brewery, uh, we're, let's just get right into it. We're going to go with the Flying Fish located in Summerdale, New Jersey. Yeah. So we got a beer. Yeah. I've yeah. never been there. Have you been there? No, I haven't been there. It's like right I on just, 30 there. So I did some research, but um, before we get into to the beer, I just want to give a little background real quick. So uh, Flying Fish was uh, founded in 1996 by Gene Muller. Shout out to Gene. <laughs> what, actually, up, Gene? what up, Gene? So he actually did uh, so well as a virtual brewery. He opened up his first spot in Cherry Hill. What's a virtual brewery? I don't know. I guess he was just selling beer. 
virtual? <laughs> I mean, it's pretty much right there in the thing. So it, his success was so good. <laughs> he opened up a bigger place in Summerdale in 2012, and that's where that's where they are today. So yeah. let's just it's time, I, guys. It's time. It's to crack. a big spot. Listen, it's time to crack the first beer. So I'm gonna. I'm done with this Bud Light. I'm gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do it right by the mic so you guys hear it. Oh yeah, that felt Dude, good. F- full disclosure: I've had this beer a hundred times. <laughs> well, don't, don't ruin it's, the surprise. My, it's one of my favorite beers, honestly. All right, so there you go. So good. hazy bones. Hazy so hazy bones, bones from uh, you know flying fish is a six point three percent IPA. Yeah, it's got like a it's like pineapple taste. All right, so mango, right. some melon. There you go. One of the caps favorite beers. Dude, Dude. Yeah, it's good with yeah. barbecue crabs and fish. Oh, that's pretty good. Is that what it goes? Is that that's what it goes with? I guess so, man. That's what it says. All right, it's got uh, pineapple, mango, and melon notes. Well, shout out to the Flying Fish Brewery in Summerdale. Yeah, guys, if you're nearby, they got a bunch of good by. beer. They got a big. It's a big brewery, I think, like a big building. But are you gonna have it? Oh, I I got one over here. Yeah. Right? I've been drinking this for the last up. ten minutes. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty good, man. Yeah, I like, I like um well. No, I won't say anything because we're probably going to have that on the next beer of the week. <laughs> so, right. so yeah, that's, that's the point. So if if you guys, um, we have a lot of breweries like team breweries. Teams. Well, if yeah. you guys want, let Keep us going. know and we will promote your beer and drink it and you know hopefully we like it because we're brutally honest here on this iPad. Let the conversation <laughs> flow with this beer <laughs> this podcast. I said the iPad because I'm like, <laughs> on the podcast here. All right, boys. All right, you want to dive right in? Do you like the beer, Larry? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm not a big IPA guy, but it's uh, it tastes good. I'd be super surprised that you're not an IPA guy. I just I can have like one of them and that's it. I just get sick of them and then I switch over to Bud Light. I like to stay hydrated. <laughs> Jesus, for uh, right. stay hydrated after the can games. Can we jump into the All Star selections because I'm gonna have, have some pretty strong opinions. On all Star selections. Yeah, um, I again wasn't let in on any of the structure or how we're gonna select these guys. Steve seems to think uh, he knows what he's doing, so I'm just gonna right, play listen. along and I'm just gonna challenge all of his opinions, which is what I usually do. I'm super into this. Uh, you know, I'm pretty aware of what's going on in the leagues, you know? Yeah. I have to fucking live bar in every game pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> no, listen. Uh, so we're going to start with gold. Uh, we got to pick eight from every uh, division, okay. right? So obviously the points leader here in gold is Cody Moore. He's got 18 goals which is in nine games. That's a lot of goals. Yeah, dude. That's a lot of goals, right? Yeah. So uh, 18 goals, uh, eight assists. I think that's a no-brainer. Uh, so Cody Moore will be the uh, first selection for uh, the gold division. Uh, yeah, right. Cody, let's get some more goals out of you. <laughs> See what I did? <laughs> so we have um, they're the Savage Monkeys, who are literally top four. Yeah, they're fi- literally five out of the top six scores. Savage Monkeys, they pretty much. Uh, uh, have we? Um, so we're gonna put half their team on on the All Star team. Are, no, we're not. We don't have to do all that. But serious question: like, Have we thought of testing them? What do you mean? <laughs> I, I mean, for PEDs. We, ha- we have it, but. Yeah. We should. No, honestly, uh, Team 24-7, which I'm a part of, and Larry's a part of, we beat them. Mm-hmm. You know, they were, it was a hard game. It was, what, 10-9? I told Robert Pascal that we exposed them that night. Dude, he liked that. Taking yeah. that puck away from Pascal and passing you the puck, dude. That's Larry went point. fucking bar down for the first time in his life. I don't want to get into uh, what, we're, what we're doing. Let's continue the uh, all-star no. selection. I'll talk about me all <laughs> I the know. time, dude. No. And that's exactly why you didn't want structure. I just wanted to talk about, <laughs> just want to talk about me. Uh, we're going we're gonna, to you know, rename this to the Steve Vane I just want to say, it's so funny, man. I love that we keep stats, honestly. Yes. But you can tell it's flawed because it's flawed in the way that I'm the worst player on that team and i think i'm second in scoring yeah but there hasn't been a large enough sample size oh excuse me yeah I'm about, I'm, because about? we watch you get lucky every single night set oh. up good guys <laughs> and you get assists every night but like I do do over that. the course of a few seasons you're gonna slowly drift down to the bottom of the come on it, you know it's true what are you talking about you know about? it's true all right all right we'll just wait <laughs> well time will tell i just say i i think most of my assists i i'm pretty high on assists and mm-hmm. i think all of them are shane I pass it up to Shane. Like, like I said, you and just pass it to you pass it the good guys. So you pass it to good guys, and they do the. They well, do I pass it to you. Does yeah. that count? Good guys, <laughs> good guys. <laughs> guys, guys. We've been talking about all star selection. All we right, have right, Cody right. Moore playing against himself right now. So <laughs> all right. I think I think we need. All to right, play. all right. 
Bascal is obviously going to be on it. He actually leads in both the two divisions. Who's Bascal? Some guy. Dude. I don't know who he is, dude. He's Bascal's like the face uh, of the league. The face of the league. Uh, you know, chronic, for now, chronic for now. He's a, wait until Dusty gets a little more exposure. <laughs> Ice time whore, Bascal. Bascal yeah. will play for everybody. He wants to play for the Chuggernauts so bad, so bad. Yeah, yeah. He's looking <laughs> to sign a deal with the Chuggernauts. But is he like the Kevin got Durant by of the, the UHL? <laughs> he just jumps to. He the... just wants ice. He wants to play every night, and that's cool. <laughs> I get it. But he he like he wants to play in the bronze division, and it's questionable when he plays in the silver. Like I feel a little off, you know what I mean? But like, uh, you know, he can't play in the Bronx. Well, like you, like he said, he just he's trying to go out there and work hard and get better. And uh, I don't is. really blame him that much. I, uh, I think if he was on the Chugs, I do think you know he could he could help out down there. Uh, chugs pass he the puck around. The mighty drunks of New Jersey now. Yeah, yeah. He's. I told him um, the Ever deal. Consider riding the Zamboni. I mean, that's nice time. <laughs> <laughs> I did tell Rob that the uh, that deal has to go through the commissioner's office before uh, right. before it goes through. Yeah, for sure. Let's so <laughs> rounding out the top ten, so you got Cody Moore, Robert Baskow. We have Ryan MacArthur with twenty three points. He's um, got to be on it. I don't, I don't want to have like a whole team yeah. of, of Savage Monkeys, <clears throat> but like at some point, it's like indisputable. Yeah, these guys are round. They round out the top four. Yeah. Uh, point getters so far, so well five out of the six, five out of the top six. Yeah, so five of the top six. They score quite a bit. So Ryan MacArthur, Andrew Coulter, and then Joey Vacht. Yeah. <laughs> so it's the Savage Monkeys against the rest of the league. <laughs> let's. We're right. gonna have to cut that. We're let's, gonna have to cut that out if I said his name wrong. Vogt. It doesn't matter if you said his name wrong. I don't know how to say half these names, dude. Yeah, Sun- true. Rick Sun- We're sorry, Sun- everyone. No, we're sorry. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, Let's skip the Savage Monkeys group. Mm-hmm. Let's start pulling other teams. Russ Welsh has obviously he was just Player of the Month Yo. for February. Go Russ! So I think that he obviously is a part is a point of that. You know he's going to be an All Star. Are you guys agree? A hundred percent. Good talk, right. Russ. <laughs> Russ Welsh, uh, Mike Lapari from the Mighty Drunks. Uh, he's a big guy, a big tall guy. Yeah, he's tough, dude. Respect. Yeah, to play Dusty, defense against. Dusty yeah, for sure. Dusty so, could take him. <laughs> Dusty could take him, dude. Let's uh, Mike Lapari. Let's let's pencil him in. So we're about halfway through. Got him. Uh, John Kennedy has twelve goals and seven assists, um, nineteen points in nine games. So he would be the top point getter for Night's Watch. Um, do you know what number he is? I'm trying to think. Is he number twenty eight or twenty one or something like that? Mm, commissioner, mm. I expect you to know that. Tough, dude. I wish they put it on here on this sheet. All right. Find that out for you. Well, he's 19 points, so he's got to be a part of it, right? Yep. So basically, we went with the top eight point getters. <laughs> no, we didn't, dude. We got have five of the top eight. Clearly we got to spread what, it out a little bit. Clearly, we know what's important to see. Um, Sean Lippincott. I think that's the that's. Oh, the, I'm sorry. I, I, so I just I just ran right through. Okay. Yeah, so, my bad. My bad. Okay, I got you. Uh, Sean is that big tall guy who we played in the tournament. Red helmet. Yeah, dude. He's like a un- he's tough. Yeah, to because he's yeah. so big. There's nothing you can do. Like I was uh, face-offs against him was next to impossible because he's a just giant. He would tie up your stick, yeah. right? And then at that point, it's just a strength contest, and he's fucking uh, three feet taller than me. <laughs> yeah, I've complained on multiple occasions yeah, about yeah. trying to defend him, but he takes a, up too much space out there. You know, he's six sixteen points in nine games, which you know, men's leagues is not super high, I guess. You know, it's a one less than two points a game, but. Just his presence out there is just fucking. Oh, what a nice backhanded compliment! I was gonna he's say he's man. good, dude. He's fucking really if good. You're averaging one point a game. It's it's good in my book. That is pretty good, honestly. I just think a men's Steve, league is like Steve's, always uh, that inflated. He's up on his pedestal because yeah, of his team twenty four twenty four seven contributions. I, I, I wish I, I had I, my Steve, stats. I don't here. see your name on this list, which is listen. I'm close. I'm probably like the bottom of this list, but I don't know the league. I've been I've been playing awful lately, so I don't even want. to. There's no chance I'm a fucking all star, but all right, we're only one, two, three, four, five in. Mm-hmm. Uh, Parker's good. You want to put Sean in, Sean Lippincott? Oh yeah, I thought we. You thought we already agreed we're good with for that. Him. Yeah, all right, we're good. All right, so Sean, uh, Tim Ryan's on here. Uh, it That's says a cool last name. Real quick, real quick, can we go back to that? Lippincott? Lippincott. I feel like I know a bunch of. I, feel like I don't know. That's the first thing. one I ever heard of. That's a cool last name. Um, Tim Ryan is on here, but he's a Night's Watch. This isn't the Coopers. But yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. Well, it's because you hit the camera. I'm not going <laughs> to clog up the thing. All right, we got so we have one, two, three, four. F- what do we have? Six listed. We have two more. 
Um, some you can't deny, like Ryan MacArthur, he's got 23 points. Yeah. Um, 17 assists. That's a ton. Yeah, let's get him on there. Um, 100%. I th- he's a good Another player. one, I it's playing defense against these guys is not is not a lot of fun. So. Yeah, right. 17 assists, that sounds like me <laughs> setting it up to a Yikes. bunch of good players. <laughs> but he's really good. He's yeah, good, too. I, yeah. I think he's number five. I concur. I remember he's number five. Andrew Coulter's really good, too. But I just, like, I hate, we're going to have four. Yeah, let's, let's, let's stop there with the Savage Monkeys. Four, five, six, seven. We're at seven. Let's stop there with the Savage Monkeys. Um, Any gold players that Parker? I, I do like uh, Parker representing the Mighty Drunks. Uh, yeah. Another good player. Are we missing any team member? Twenty four seven. We're missing. A and, team and then member. I was gonna go. Uh, yeah. So Parker from the Mighty Drunks. I do like Lowry, my boy. Team twenty four seven. So we got uh, listed as Team Dexter for some reason on here, but uh, you got the stats pulled up. Yeah. What about uh, Shane? Do you have the top point getters for twenty? Yeah, I got a uh, Lowry's leading the way with fifteen points, fifteen, ten points. goals, five assists, seven games played. Ooh. Um, what about Shane? Give me one sec. So I do like do Parker have, on there. Hold on, I got. We have that though, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven. We have one more for this seven gold division. What are you rolling your ass for, Jerry? I'm just enjoying you guys talking. This is. <laughs> do you have the top point getters? Do you, do you have a goalie on this thing? I do. I, we I'm, will get I'm, to I'm that. looking at it right now. It's it's go go, <laughs> go top to bottom because I want to hear it. Wait, this is actually funny. <laughs> Can oh you yeah yeah yeah. Sorry. So bottom. so we got Lowry, 15 points, uh, 10 goals, five assists, and then we got Stephen Vane. Hold on, what? We got uh, <laughs> Stephen Vane's 15. See, I don't know if you ever actually introduced your name, Stephen Vane's captain. Yeah, okay. Just... Uh, four goals, <laughs> four goals, 11 assists. Four goals is rough. <laughs> goals. Ezra, how many games? As a, you're a seven, six. Right? It just pretty much proves, proves my point that you just pass the puck to Stop guys it. who can score. Stop it. Six go. Six games though. <sighs> yeah, six games, Steve. Four goals in six games. Not terrible. Yep. And then we got Shane good. right behind him. <laughs> Shane's right behind him. Eight goals, six assists for fourteen points. And then Lou, Lou Sarcone, three games played. <laughs> 12 points, yeah. <laughs> averaging four points a game. So Skip good. to my dude's Lou, a, let's go. Dude's an absolute menace <laughs> out there. Menace um, out there. I, so let me just, let, let's just recap this real quick. So we got. Super nice guy too. Hell yeah. Lou's super nice guy. Yeah, that's yeah. very important. Huh? Very important. I forgot to ask if he's a surfer guy. He looks like he surfs. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. He's, he's real enthusiastic surfing. out there. Gets the boys going. My I boat. love it. Yeah. yeah. Um. So we got Cody, Robert, Ryan, uh, John Kennedy, Russ, Lapari, Parker, Lippincott. I got Lowry. What's the points per game for for Lou? Four points per game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they've won. We've won every game he's played. We've won. Correct. Yes, if I remember correctly. That is correct. That's a big deal. Yeah. So, um, I think we got all the teams represented too. Multi, mighty. Yeah, Night's Watch, Monkeys, and then twenty four seven. Yeah, we got to pull somebody from Savage Monkeys. So we got one more spot here. Twenty four seven. After after Lowry, we got one more spot here. What are we thinking? All right, fine, guys. You twist my arm, I'll suit up. Uh, (laughs) I'll suit up. It's fine. (laughs) We uh we we haven't gotten to the bronze division yet, there, Jer. Can you? (laughs) Well, I didn't know what you said. All right, so I mean that we're between Lowry, Shane, and Lou, right? (laughs) All right. So well, no, Lowry's Lowry's on. Lowry's on. Larry's on. Then we're we're booked. We have one more. No, no. We have Cody, Bascal, MacArthur, Kennedy, Welsh, Lapari, and Lippincott. That's seven. We need one more. So we have Lowry, Shane, or Lou. I got uh, Parker on there too. Mighty drunks. We already have. We have Lapari's doing the mighty drunks. Okay. We got to squeeze in the twenty four seven. We can't have three savage monkeys <laughs> and like no twenty four seven. We have this twenty four seven is second we have, in we the have division. Lowry for twenty four seven, and then we have another spot after that. Oh, dude, what are you talking about? Name your spots. I tried to. All right, so we got Cody, Robert, Ryan MacArthur, John Kennedy, Russ Welsh, Mike Lapari, Parker O'Connor, Sean Lippincott, James Lowry. That's nine. Exactly. We have one more. No, we have eight per division. Oh. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm sorry, Parker. You're out, bro. We got to get uh, one from my bad, dude. So you can either swap Parker. Parker's and a uh, childhood friend of mine too. too. Well, so, then, uh, you can swap to... him with Sean Lippincott because we already have. I don't know. That's a cool last name, though, man. Lippincott. Yeah. 
<laughs> I, listen, as a basketball player, judging hockey players, Lippincott's got to stay in. <laughs> yeah, we got to go right. with Lippincott. Um, O'Connor's like an Irish name. Eight goals, eight cool. assists, a little more well-rounded, you know. Okay, okay. Yeah. So we got to pick one from 24-7. That's what I'm saying. It's Lowry. Lowry. It's got to be Lowry. Lowry. All right. Big contributor to the UAHL. I know he's played for a couple of different teams, you know. Yeah, he's around. You're correct. All right. <clears throat> So uh, I, I just think because it's close to your name, that's why you like it. Yeah, he probably does. Lowry, <laughs> Lowry, Lowry. Yeah, I mean, Larry it's, it's the there. Le- Lowry the legend. Lowry the, the legend. legend. I love it. What's, nice what's Lowry's first name? I don't even know. I just call him Lowry. James. It's James. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> my bad. Come on, bro. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't take any notes for that, so I'm just. I did. I did. You're just did. drawing penguin. I, 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 I just draw a badass penguin right here. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. So we're gold on. settled then. Yeah, gold settled. We got. Right. We got our list. All right, so we're on to silver, the best division, in my opinion, honestly. This is, good this, hockey, good hockey. It's a good division. hockey. It's good hockey. It's eight teams. Everyone's pretty much – anyone could win at any given night for the most part. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but it's but it's like any any league, though. I mean, you got guys, you got teams at the top, you got teams at the bottom, but, you know, the, the yeah, 50% yeah. in the middle, there's a lot of good games to go around. For sure, so. for sure. All right, so that's uh, the elephant in the room. Ross Bryan, he's a fucking menace, dude. He's got twenty. Dude, I don't know. I don't know what he does out there. Dude, he's awesome. Dude, yeah. I, I've come around with Ross. Ross, is a cool dude. Yeah, Ross, is a really cool dude. Hell yeah, uh, Ross. You caught up with him at the uh, tournament, Winter Classic. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. First time I actually got to talk to him. So yeah, first time I ever talked to him. Sweet, cool guy, man. Really down to earth. Yeah. Uh, nice dreads. He's a bald guy. Mm-hmm. I can really compliment his hair. So I guess we're going to put him in the All-Star game then, huh? Oh, for sure. Dude. Yeah. Dude, listen, he's got in nine points. He's got 21 goals, 15 assists, 36 points. Right. He leads the whole league in points, like by 10 points. Yeah. Dude, yeah, got- we've, we've caught a lot of heat from uh, some accounts out there, you know, just, you know, talking about uh, too many tryhards in our league. Um, uh, no, I think Ross is just out there putting the puck in the net, setting his boys up, putting points up. It just, we, we love hockey out here, so. Yeah, did you watch him? And he's just got the sickest fucking hands. And I thought. I have was- played. We play against him all the time. Yeah, sick hands. I've seen him, yeah. He's got sick hands. He mm-hmm. makes people, he's fucking nutmeg me at least 10 times yeah well, in the last three. that happens sounds like you got a little crush, crush on does him, happen to me a, a lot cr- i think you got a little hockey crush on him maybe you keep talking about his hands i don't know, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> soft they're soft they're soft they're they're nice. <laughs> they're all no, nice no, no. Ross, control basket. yourself so obviously he's a fucking <laughs> shoe in for uh for that ross you're in buddy um we got uh matt mager so matt mager's got 14 goals eight assists i'm not too familiar with matt but when I talk, oh I, yeah 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 you know Matt yep yep right. uh, I know he definitely he's he stands out on the Bulldogs for sure yeah he's number twenty eight he obviously is the one, their best player yep. for sure um, Chris I'd say Chris would be a close second Chris is just a giant human oh yeah dude uh, do you mean the uh, <laughs> the captain's up. game hero <laughs> yeah uh, the overtime <laughs> game winner. yeah dude I'm nuts he's my guy fucking just I, he's, I he's wish I was like dude. a foot taller. That's why, Jerry, I think you should play hockey, man. Like, the, the size is such a huge advantage if you're good. Yep. Give it oh, – I'll be – that's not a question. I'll be good. It's just <laughs> g- g- give it some time. You know, I'm, I'm, f- I'm feeling out some options. You know there's some learn-to-play hockey clinics. I do learn to play. I'm jumping right into the freaking <laughs> <You're> gold division. <laughs> we got the spot for you. Yeah. Right right uh, I think we can go right, uh, by the way. So, the next three. Oh, yeah. Uh, we can throw them right in there. Brad and Brett yeah. off Team Dexter. Uh, the Brad got bros. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if Some you guys, guys saw the last like article, that. but uh, the the Vitorini bros took down the Hawks. Uh, we weren't happy about it. They're uh, <laughs> they're pretty physical out there. It's it's hard to, it's hard to maintain. So they got to um, be the most universally hated. Wait, are they on different teams? Ever. They're not even on the same team. No, listen, no. Listen. Cre- Creasy has the uh, the team messed up for Brad. He is on Team Dexter. He's on Team along Dexter. with his brother Brad. Oh, okay. um, yeah. Brad, shout out for Player of the Month in February for sure. I would advocate for them. They are misunderstood. 100%. They are big uh, softies, but they're a little tough on the ice. Oh, yeah. Hockey brings out the worst in a lot of us. So I don't even know if it's the worst. Not man. the worst. It's it's just, it brings out, you know, like, you start skating around with, you know, it's just, yeah, it's it's yeah. competitive. And hockey's a frustrating sport. Yeah. So. And then it's part of some people's game, man. It's part of their game to get under people's skin. Dude, Dexter in general worse, is just bigger than all of us. So they just take up all of our space. They're tough, dude. Yeah. They, they picked up, like, uh, defense-wise. Like with Mike Winton and uh, what's his name with the blue helmet? I forget his name. 
But anyway, he's got a blue helmet. <laughs> Dude, there's so good. I know, I know you're talking about. They clog up yeah, the I, fucking I know, blue man. line. Yeah, it's, it's so hard to get by them. There's not a lot of room against those boys. Yeah. If you're out there with a the blue helmet, email us. <laughs> Let us know your name. He's new. Dusty he's like someone job. new, dude. But, uh, <laughs> dude, he's just like, uh, they're, they're tough. Like in the tournament, we couldn't even get, I swear they to you. They beat like, you twice, didn't they? They only beat us just once. once but in the tournament, but. Um, I thought you played them twice. No. That was the most frustrating game because mm-hmm. we, we, I'm not even kidding you, like we would get into the neutral zone and like you couldn't even get past them. Mm-hmm. It's like the worst, dude. Mike Winton, he re- moves the puck so well. Like it reminds me of um, like Brian Leach. Oh, yeah, you're talking my language. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that yeah. kind of guy. So he's a goal scorer too. He's a, he's a, yeah, he could score goals, but like he just moves the puck so well, especially like that first pass out of the zone. You know what I mean? Like, he just, uh, he can move the puck really well. And that's the super important for a defenseman. It's like that first pass coming out of the zone. But anyway, we start stop. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so we got, Dexter, um, but, yeah, yeah. It's enough, of, it's enough of the Dexter love. Uh, um, so taking you did, them down in playoffs for sure. <laughs> you did um, Brad and Brett. They're obviously on opposite teams. All right, we're going to put them on opposite teams. PSA, don't mess with Brad because then you're going to have Brett coming after you afterwards. Yeah, that would be an interesting <laughs> dynamic. Uh, Brett did request um, them to both be the captains, but I don't know if we're doing captains of the All Star Games. Um, but I did tell them that they will be front and center. I'm sure center of the show. I'm you know? sure they will yeah, be center so. of the show. They will make themselves center of the yeah, show. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, all right, let's let's keep it moving though. Don't let's miss Joey Crespo. He's I, fucking sick. All right, good. Proceed. You go. go, go <laughs> nah. Joey Crespo, uh, Player of the Month in January, um, somehow managed to get. <laughs> uh, what was that? Fifteen goals in four games, or <laughs> yeah. something like that. Um, that ridiculous. And he was suspended one game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. He's a uh, for what? What do you do? Uh, there's a fight. It was like a mini fight. Yeah, but it was enough to get a game misconduct, so you had to get a, a suspension at that point. Mm, that's Come right, on, Crespo. Um, <laughs> stay classy, my friend. All right, let me. Um, I can't believe Larry. So on we this need list. a. Uh, <laughs> well. As you know, I will not be in attendance for this game. Yeah, um, gotcha. We Who do have Michael obviously. Lorenz? I have <laughs> guys. Larry is uh, me. Michael Lorenz. No. Um, Robert Bascal is actually leading the leading the Hawks in points. Um, but we're gonna. <laughs> he's already been um, so like submitted from the for the gold division. So we're gonna go with the next uh, team leader as James Pielli. The Hawks, for the baby. Hawks, Hawks, Hawks uh, baby. big contributor for the Hawks. <laughs> um, big time. So, yeah, he's got uh, four goals, 12 assists, 16 points. Two points. Looking like a beaut out there. Getting yeah. the boys going. Uh, yeah. What's up, James? Hawks. We got to have a Hawks representative. Oh, 100%. Well, th- we have to have a we, – yeah, we're going to need a – We can't have someone from everybody because obviously this division has – I was just I was just going to start bringing up the teams here and see if we teams, could. But, uh, let me make a suggestion here. Shoot. We have to go with someone who's not on this list. Okay. The kid. Hunter. Hunter, uh, that was where Dude, I was going. Let me let me th- blow your mind with some stats. This mm. kid, right? You right. done? You're doing homework on Hunter. Have to do. I know. I'm fucking geeking out over Hunter, dude. Yeah. Fucking so, tournament. We're hanging out in the lobby. <laughs> I'm like, Larry, go ask the kid in the pro shop to play for the Hawks, right? Yeah. <laughs> he's like this unsuspecting kid, right? He's got to be. He's a small guy. Mm-hmm. Right? He's got to be five, five, seven, five, eight. Yeah, he, he looks like 18. Right? Um, I've seen him in the pro shop a million times. I was like, all right, go ask him to play. Dude, this dude's a stud. Yeah. <laughs> he's a, he's a good hockey player, like for real. And now he's officially on your team? He's he's like uh so he's he's rostered on the moonshine, right? Um, but we've kind of subbed. Free him agent in. acquisition by <laughs> by Moonshine, by the way. Yeah. So he was looking for a team. There was no teams available. Moonshine needed some good players. So we gave him late in the season, I think two games into the season, maybe three. Uh-huh. Now, let me give you this stat. Hunter accounts for 40% of their entire goals scored. Yeah. 40%. Great and stat. he came in late. Right? Great homework there. Pull up his stats. Can you pull up his stats on the thing? Dude. Suppose I could. Yeah. So Hunter's <clears throat> got to be shooting. Like He's got to be an all-star. And he keeps getting drafted to everyone's team. He's on our 24-7 yeah. team in the gold division. He's on the Hawks for sub. Somebody pulled him in Grundy I've for heard. their league. He's on our Pensaka team. Shane pulled him on his Pensaka team. The, I've, I've heard. The yeah. Gladiators. How old is this kid? 18. 18. Yeah, Go young ahead. kid. He aged out of juniors, I think. I think he aged out of juniors. Yeah, he's um, he's playing for Rowan next year. Well, he didn't want to go in the NHL? 
<laughs> I, I think he's a I think guy, he's, but uh, like he's good, dude. He's good we'll have to we'll have to we'll have to bring him on, get his uh, future plans. Because I was telling Bascal, he's I mean, kind of ba- a quiet guy. Though. I was telling Bascal his uh his, his spot as face of the league could be compromised <laughs> with a uh, young young talent like Hunter. Dude, so for real, dude. Yeah. Honestly, he's got the shield. No, nah, he's, he's, he's a menace out there. I would I would look to shout out to Hunter, my uh, D partner on twenty four seven, dude. With a, with a name like thing. Hunter too, you know. Yeah, he's he's business. Yeah, he's all about. He's all about it, dude. He's about that action. It's about shooting it. Yeah. Well, sure. he's 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 a defenseman. He's a good. He could skate fast. Dude. He's a playoff. His name. Yeah. Come on. I think he's just eighteen in an old man's league. So let's, <laughs> <laughs> so let's get back to that. What is it? He's yeah. got the gold, first he's of all, got the gold uh, runners. Dude. Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. Reel us back in, Larry. Right. Yeah. So uh, What's his stats, said, so? so right now he's got eleven goals, um, seven games played. And yeah. 11 points, so he's not really doing a lot of passing out there. I mean, I've seen a couple of his highlights. He's, he's looking good out there. He's burying it. So Yes, yeah, he's, um, he's having a tough time on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's good. We got to shoot. We got to put him so in. So we're going to put him in there for sure. How many we at? Because I lost count. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. We got seven. I would. I do. One more. Let's hear it. Who are we missing representative oh, wise? I'll be honest. We're Warriors? missing players from the Warriors and the Otters. Uh, we got Nate up here. Um 14 points for the Warriors. Uh, so he's he's in that top, he's in this top 10. What's the top uh, scores for the Otters? Because I, mean, uh, yeah. um, I got a soft spot for the Otters. Cause they're yeah, shout, shout out to the Otters. Yeah, the, they're pretty supportive of the league here. and uh, No complaints about the Otters. What do you got? Got you in one second. It's probably one of the. I'm just gonna guess a McCafferty. Yeah, they I mean, they're, they're, they take up. Yeah, like twenty percent of the team is a McCafferty. Yeah. Um. Wait, brothers? The, yeah. Cousins? They're I think all there's brothers. Yeah, too. three it's of nuts. them. There's like three or four of them. Wow. Yeah. So uh, good call there, Steve. We got Kevin McCafferty, uh, top point getter for the right, Otters. Now you're gonna, so gonna pick one out of the three brothers? I don't know. What's his What's his stats? Nah. So he's got. So he's got six goals, four assists, eight games played. Um, Ten points is the leader for. The yeah, yeah, Otters. yeah. They seem to be well distributed. Yeah, um, there's not out. really too many standouts there. I know. I mean, playing against them, I know Kevin's kind of a kind of hard to deal with too. Um, but it's going to be hard to. Get him in there over Nate with the Warriors. Yeah. 14 points, 8 goals, 6 assists. In 6 games, too. Yeah, 6 games. I think we're going to have to go with... We're going to have to go with... Uh, we're going to end Nate. up having, like, a secondary team. Yeah. Because, like, not everyone's going to make the game. Agreed. Right? Agreed. So, we definitely keep that in consideration. But, um, why don't we do the... Well, what's so? Here's the difference, though. Like, what's the Warriors' record compared to the Otters? Yeah. So, like, um, how, how much influence is that? Those points have well, you know what I mean. Like if you're if you're bottom of the league, yeah, scoring points. Like you know, we don't have anybody in the top except like not even like everyone in the top except for Matt Mager. I guess the Bulldogs are a little lower in the standings. Yeah, I mean, so the Otters are sitting at fourth right now, five and three record with eleven points. Uh, Warriors are sitting down at the bottom of the Silver Division right now, uh, one seven one. So they got three points. Who's um, who's one seven one? The Warriors, <clears throat> yeah. Um, I'm, I, all right, commission. Nate. I'm commissions between uh, Nate Mazer from the Warriors and Kevin McCafferty from the Otters. Uh, you got to make the final call there. I'm going big, Kevin. All right, so I thought we'll I, Kevin I thought on I was there. The, the tiebreaker. Well, what's your what's your vote, Larry? Um, so the, it's it's kind of tough because I w- actually would pick Nate from the Warriors. Um, you know, even if they're on the bottom of the the silver division, you know this is an all star game, and he's contributing a lot. You guys can't do that to Mister and Miss McCafferty if they have three <laughs> boys that don't make the all star. That's gonna that's gonna be tough for them, no? Yeah, yeah, I agree. But the, yeah. but you the, think the, what Larry Miss. said is that they're spread out. Like their top point getter is ten points, but I bet like what's their fifth point getter? I bet it's pretty close. Um, fifth point getter on Otters? Yeah, it's a, exactly. Yeah, so it's pretty like they're they're they move the puck around like everyone. There's no like standout guy. Yeah, they're just a solid team. No, right. yeah. No, I'm I, just bringing bringing I, this I up here. Yeah, just, yeah. Uh, listen, as a dad, I'm just saying like, if, if if three <laughs> of my three boys, kids, it, I, I will, it, three boys. So Kevin general. has two more points than than the, the next uh, the second place point getter Stephen Linville, um, but. Everybody on their team has points, so yeah. it's all it is well distributed. Got to go with an otter. You have to have an otter's representative. They're going to be top. Are they a playoff team? 
their top four. They're, they're four. they are the four seed. Yeah, right. they, go they have to be. You got to go for it. Yeah, All right, I've been outvoted by the commission and Jerry the Greek. So what is it, Kevin McCafferty? Yeah, so we got Kevin McCafferty. Um, I'm gonna go up here. I might be missing something though, because I only have seven total. So we got Ross Bryan, Kevin McCafferty. Wasn't that the kid from Home Alone? <laughs> is that McAllister? Dude, no, that's Kevin. One McAllister. of them looks like <laughs> that's Kevin McAllister. No, Sorry, but that was pretty close. No, 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 no. You say that because one of them looks like Home uh, Alone. Yeah, uh, Macaulay Culkin. Yeah, dude. What is it? The blonde one. <laughs> He looks like him, dude, right? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. All right. <laughs> All right no, can, no. We, can we round these one, out two, three, here? Because I think five, we're short six, one. Seven, actually. eight. No, I have eight. I have Ross Bryan, Matt Maker, Brad, and Brett Vitterini. Joey Crespo, James Pielli from the Hawks represent. Hunter Irera. Oh, Hunter. Yeah, yeah, Hunter. And yep. Kevin McCaffrey. All right, got it. Um, And then, like you said, uh, you know, it's not – it's not a definite that everyone can play, so we will put in some uh, reserves. So Nate, Nate will be reserve number Maybe one. Maybe that's when the Otters. Oh, no. Yeah, who's, what was it? The Warriors. Maybe that's when the Warriors come in. What? <laughs> the hell are you talking about? All right. Didn't you say you wanted to get somebody from the Warriors? Uh, no, I didn't say that. I said that oh, Larry, the Otters for sure. No, yeah, Steve yeah, has a soft sure. spot for the Otters. No, they saying, are, they if, do if, support if somebody, a lot. If somebody can't come, we, we're getting somebody from the Warriors. Yeah, it'll be Nate Mazur. I used to, hate, number I used one. to hate the Otters. All right, now for our favorite Big division. Hater hey, hunters. stand by, buddy. But now I'm stand by. Around. Actually, I do want I do want to continue on that. We did the Hawks did not like the Otters for a very long time. Um, <laughs> we had a rivalry going for a while. But yeah, like you said, we lost big our, supporters of the our league. first finals that we ever made. We lost the Otters, uh, and one of the dudes bloodied up T unit T T T T T T T unit. Was that in the, that in the that final? Is, that was in the finals, dude. Every yeah, finals dude. that we've been in. Bray. Cheap shot? Cheap shot? Or was yeah, it? That yeah, was, that was like a fight. Yeah. T, wow. For T-Unit, every finals we've been in, which is three, he's ended up bloody. <laughs> like, he's Real? been bleeding, dude. That that's like, that's that an interesting sounds, stat. That sounds like his problem. We man. won two out of three. Big time Hawks, baby. Right. That's an interesting stat. We had we did have to get the Hawks plug in there, though. I mean, we're yeah, gunning for three been, in a row. Three in a row. Yeah. Three, Pete. Yeah, I so. think we're gonna do it, dude. Honestly, we're gonna get the boys riled up. We're not playing really good hockey right now, but yeah, I think um, I think we are gonna get the boys riled up. We're gonna get the boys going. <laughs> yeah. uh, we're gonna go into the playoffs hot. That's obviously I, the biggest I, listen, key. I know. Were we, we second seed? Listen, right now? I know we host this podcast together, but you guys, all this talk, you got me on the Otters squad. Like I, I'm rooting for them now. No, you gotta go. No Otters. No, no. Well, talks not. only, bro. I don't know. Come I on. think I do remember Sean actually. I like Sean too. I for, so so, so Jerry so won. Jerry and Dusty are two different characters, correct? Correct. Okay. Sure. Actually, so I know Sean. Best Sean actually wanted to sign Dusty for the playoff run. Oh, um, you are a big otters guy. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. You know, otters, beavers. But they're like, otter they're and like beaver. cousins, right? Yeah, but like an otter is like a carnivore, right? And a beaver just eats like plants and shit, right? <laughs> You wouldn't yeah. know that. <laughs> Possible. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, incredible. The, the got that. Incredible fun fact from the commission. Beavers are better than otters. Yeah, beavers though, got right? that cool tail. Otters just, like, hug each other. And shit like that, right? <laughs> that's all they do. They just float. Or they do that they, in they locker just, room a lot, dude. They just, well, you know what? <laughs> love is love, guys. I mean, listen, <laughs> otters, if you guys. We're all inclusive here at the <laughs> you all right, are, we, are we ready to move on here? Because we, we are. I, I want to get into my <laughs> favorite are, division yeah. in, of the league. That um, is, it is your favorite b- Before we jump, Before we jump into the all-stars let's just look at the playoff picture here i mean jersey trash obviously number one cheap hockey tied for points uh both both of them sitting at uh top two spots with 14 points each got Camden county warriors in third with 12 and the hellhounds in fourth tied with them so all four of the top teams are within two points of each other uh death of the fox seven points chuggernauts two points and mighty drunks of nj haven't secured a w yet um not the greatest goal differential at minus 52 but uh you know, we want to shout out to our boy, <laughs> our, our boy uh, Joe Blaylock. Who's minus uh, fifty two? Stop it! My, you, mighty drunks of NJ are sporting a minus fifty two goal how, differential. How many goals for? So they got thirteen goals for, sixty five goals against. Um, you know, as a defenseman <laughs> myself, I'm gonna I'm gonna point the blame there. Uh, I know they need they need a lot of work on defense. <laughs> I know Bascal is looking for for a contract. <laughs> um, I'm getting it, dude. He's going to have to play defense if he jumps Blaylock on the team. Is, uh, we're going to leave Blaylock as the top scorer. In the yeah, yeah. We're, we're obviously bringing these guys up because our buddy Blaylock plays on there, but uh, he needs to step his shit up. Let's put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> um, to say, dude. Yeah. No, I love – dude, I'm so fucking excited for the playoffs. But, like, I'm excited for 
the bronze playoffs the most. I don't know why. I was just going to get into that, yeah. But, like, the blonde, bronze playoffs got to be the sickest because between Sheep, Hockey, Hellhounds, uh, Jersey Trash, Canyon County Warriors, anyone could win. Yeah, agreed. Like, whoever's going to make the top four, anyone could win. And um, Agreed. I love everyone on that team. But, like, there's no one that really stands out. That's why I like No, there's a lot of parody in that division. Yeah. Uh, a lot of buy-in, too. I mean, we see all you guys on Instagram and stuff like that. It's really cool. Dude, Sheep sure. Hockey is crazy. Dude, their website, they got to have somebody on there who's a who's a website guy or graphic designer. So I saw some of their merch, it's, man. I, like, so I, dude, I want to buy some of that I gotta stuff. I got to get a Sheep Hockey that, no, That's hat. pretty cool. Yeah, they're, they're, where, they, where, they, that's where, cool. where their stuff is looking good is the website, but even, you know, Hellhounds, Jersey Trash, your guys' shit is cool as hell on Instagram, too. Jer- so Hellhounds have sick. the best jerseys. Uh yeah, I've heard a lot of Jersey trash love as far as the jerseys goes. They're cool too. Yeah, I think the every, they're they're cool too. Like even cheap hockey jerseys are cool, but the Hellhound just looks like mean, dude. Like yeah. the color combo, <laughs> fucking steady. This big ass like fucking dude. Right, he well, just looks like a menace out there, dude. Like steady, dude. Steady, like shout out steady player of the month in February. <laughs> I think we got I think we got all the shout outs out as far as the players. Fuck of the what month they say. Go. Fuck what they say. <laughs> Yo, I, love, I love that song, dude. That song's sick. He's got a new album dropping soon. I saw. He saw. Um, we're gonna get. We have to get like a UHL theme song, but we got to get like a well, I was steady singing. rap. Do you want me to sing? I, I could sing again <laughs> if you want. I could. No. I like that I song, that but I don't think it's gonna go over that. Thing, all right, man. all right. Listen, but you're not patriotic. We gotta get a. Uh, we probably have to get like a censored version. What of the of the song? Maybe we can get steady to just rap a UHL song. Something about the league. Nah, he should be doing his art, his art organically, and then we'll select the song that we like. We just need to be we gotta get stuff the Walmart else. version. We gotta get yeah, the, we gotta I'm get sure. I'm sure. Version. I'm sure if they got if he's got if he's putting on Spotify, I'm sure he's working on a clean cut. No? All right. Well, I'm gonna ask for that for sure. Shout out to Steady Official. <laughs> Shout out to steady, the dude. bull. Fucking meatball and Steady next to each other. <laughs> we got at least two at big least UHL three and a half meatballs in Steady. <laughs> At least, dude. <laughs> so, should we get tiny. to the uh, All Star selections from the Browns division? Get to it, yes, dude. Um, I mean, you got the uh, you got the we top got Alf, guys baby. right in front of you. Yeah, Alf, um, nice guy. He probably I don't know. See, here's all right. So here's the thing with Browns, bro, is that you got some guys who are probably not bronze players. Yeah, but I we I'm just okay we just looked it. at we just looked at the standings, and uh, there's a lot of parity yeah. in the top four. Of the Browns division, so I I do agree with you. I mean, we we're keeping a close eye on it, but like there seems to be a lot of competition going on there. So I don't think we need to interfere too much. I'm always okay with like so if you have like a C level team and then you have like a couple B guys mixed in, that's okay. Same okay. thing with every division. Obviously, we're well, not gold. There's no top for that. But silver, if you have like a couple A guys on your team, like that's okay because mm-hmm. you want to play with your friends, right? You want to like. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's okay. I get it. Like Alf, um, is a shoe in for, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah. It's top, right? top Alf's of the, lead. Yeah. He's got thirteen goals, eleven assists, pretty even. Mm-hmm. Um, in nine games, uh, only two penalty minutes. Pretty nice. Yeah, I think what we should do is, I think, so Lizio, uh, does he play in the goal division too? He's played in. He played for like twenty four seven for like a game or two. Uh, Tom, like Lizio is. Is probably is he, are, are these both these guys are rostered on cheap? Yeah. Okay. So we put them both in. Yeah. I mean, we. Yeah. I think so. These guys Lizzie are good. Was, I seen them. I seen them play. They're good, but uh, they are was, sitting at the top. Yeah. So. Lizzie is probably playing a little <clears throat> lower than his when he should. Mm-hmm. Um, but you can't dispute, you know, nineteen points in eight games. Yeah, and so like we just said, there's there's some parity down there, so it's all good. But we're probably like we're probably gonna hit that. That's that's good for sheep hockey. Yep. You know, mm-hmm. um, we got to go with um, Steady. Obviously, was a player of the month, so he's an all star. Yeah, 100%. like we have a three month season. If you're a player of the month, you're probably an all star. One hundred percent, right? Yeah, you skipped over Josh Taylor too. Death of the Fox Brewery, obviously. Yeah, right. Um, Death of the Fox is lower, so he's sixteen points, nine games. They're what? They're pretty low. They're like seven. They're right. They're in fifth. Eight. Fifth? Or uh, sixth. Let, let, let me double be, check that. They got to be sixth. 
That's the sucky part about bronze is there's going to be one team that misses the playoffs that probably shouldn't. That's, uh, well, that's tough, dude. Uh, yeah. Let me, me, uh, like, me double check. The 15, but, um, you know. No, Death of the Fox is in fifth. They have seven points. Uh, four seed has 12 points. So, they're, to be honest with you, the top four seems to be rounded out pretty nicely. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Um, so. Yeah, so so that's the. I mean, I mean there's a, there's a lot of parity down there, but uh, yeah. So we'll, we'll we'll put Josh on the back burner for now. That's the Fox is kind of trailing behind a little bit. So we, um, we got steady, of course, player of the month, one yeah. of the goats of the UAHL. Hunter, so Hunter so wiki, so wiki. So he plays. He plays in the gold division. He plays in the gold division. Yeah. So like that's kind of uh you know questionable. Yeah, I mean, but we just... I mean, we Wait, just is this a different Hunter, or this is the same Hunter we're talking different about? Hunter. Different Hunter. Different There's Hunter. There's two Hunters? Um, you know, he's not like a crazy okay. point getter, I guess, I think. In the he plays game. defense on and the goal division, and we also just... Just put in uh, Alf and Lizio. I, yeah, I think yeah. I think Hunter is is comparable um, in terms of, like, you know, yeah. his fit in the league. I think it works. Yeah, you think he should be in? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, definitely. I'm sure go ahead, Matt. Who else we got? We, you're gonna have to probably pull up the. Stats I got, I got, I got the stats in front of me, but okay, just, gotcha. just to double check, we got, we got Alf, Lizio, uh, Steady, and Sawicki right now. Yeah, I want to put up. Um, so Brian Clegg from the Chuggernauts. So he's got 11 points, eight games. Right. But I know that they probably haven't scored a whole lot of goals. So how many? So. Can you, you oh, so, you, so you're saying how many? Yeah, what's I, just, the percentage? I like to think about like impact, dude. like super. Um, Bro, like, I agree. You know what I mean? I agree like, with you. Yeah. Every goals. time I bring this up, though, you yeah. argue with me. These guys are contributing. I mean, their team might not be uh, at the top of the league, but this guy's contributing. Yeah. Nine goals out of a total. Uh, oh, I should have I looked that up before, but the next, the next most goals on the team is two. So. Yeah, but uh, how many goals for they have? If you look on the standing I, I, section, I'm, I'm I'm jumping back over to the yeah, because uh, I like Kai Smooth. Like, yeah, he's got a team that struggles. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Um, but if you're a standout player on a team that struggles, right? I like that. Yeah, so uh, they got they got Blaylock. they got a uh, they <laughs> got a count, dude. So uh, Chuggernauts have 18 goals for Clegg has half of them, so he's got nine. He's so, gotta be in. So we're gonna throw them. We're he's gonna throw in Clay. He's got you gotta put him in. We're gonna throw in Cleggy. You gotta put in Cleggy. Yeah, Cleggy um, for sure. Let's Once. get the Jake Elliott too. Go Birds. Um, <laughs> Stop. Oh, well, Dude, no, he, a, hold on. There's a the Jake guy. Elliott, and then there's somebody else who has a little professional. Matt Reed, I think there's a Matt Reed mm-hmm. in the league that is a for, former Flyer. You know. Yeah. 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 Um, but Jersey Trash, he's the leading scorer for Jersey Trash. Yeah, that's, that actually kind of surprised me to see the, the the leading point getter for Jersey Trash down so points. low. I know, I think they just took their first loss. Um, but uh, you know, let's let's be honest here. Hold on one sec. It's because they asked Scotty O'Brien. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, player <laughs> one of the first players of the month um, of the UAHL, Scott O'Brien, beast in the net. I'm gonna loop back to goalies. I plan. I was just gonna say that we do we. There's two obvious in goalies that are just above everyone else. All right, so yeah. I was just leaving that out. We'll bring that up. We'll bring that up next. Yeah. So we got six, including Jake Elliott. Who's number one in the Bronx? <clears throat> um, in terms of what points? Like who's number one seed in the Bronx? Jersey Trash. We gotta pick somebody. Jersey trash. Jersey trash and sheep are tied, tied for points. Which we have two sheeps. So we gotta pull with Jersey trash. So Jake Elliott. Jake Elliott is leading the leading point getter yeah, with ten. Ten points. Who's the second? Uh, he's got seven goals, three assists. Nice. Um, in second we got Elijah Eichmann. Okay. Uh, three goals, six assists. Okay. So Nine points close. right behind him. Um, what's uh Will Castorina? I went to high school with him. Never knew yeah, he that's played your guy, hockey. right? Never knew he played hockey until I saw him like through, like six months ago. You guys didn't have a hockey team? High school? We did, is, um Castorina's got four goals, two assists. Nice. I mean, six points. He's on yeah. that second page there. Yeah. Um, I think we got to get Elijah in there, second jer- second Jersey Trashman. What about Jer- uh, Jake Elliott we're doing, though, right? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right. Um, did we jump back up to... So we got we got chugs. Do we, do we want to get anyone from Death of the Fox or Mighty Drunks in there? 
That's uh, my question. Well, Josh Taylor's got 10 goals, 6 assists. We might as well. Excuse me? Josh Taylor? Is he on your – did we check him off? Yeah, yeah. I so, mean, he's third in points. Like, he's, you know. He's third in points off death of the Fox. Yeah, we're going to have to get him in there. So, so, so we have one more spot. Did we get someone from Mighty Drunks on there? Um, or do we go with Elijah? Um, let me think, man. Yeah. Um, so we have we have what a representative from Sheep, Death of the Fox, Hellhound, Cersei Trash, Camden County Warriors. Who we miss? We're just missing a representative from Mighty Drunks. We are. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know if they're. <clears throat> I don't know if they're. You know, going to be an all star type yet. Yeah, I agree. You know, we probably want to pull from the top four teams. All right, so instead of jumping all the way down to Elijah, we're going to have to go with uh, Anthony Amato then. Yeah, he's got, the 10, he's got 10 goals. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, 10 One, goals, two, three. pretty sweet. Five assists. Yep. Yeah, I like that. So we're covered. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Yeah, sounds good. <clears throat> so we got I don't know. Dude, bronze, I'm telling you, the competition and the, and the standings, that was that was kind of hard for us it's right tough, there. It's tough, dude. It's tough. I want to loop back. So we're going to loop back to goalies. Right? Yeah, let's get the goalies. So the reason why I loop back to goalies is that we have two standout goals. We have um, uh, Scotty Savage. was chunky, not funky. <laughs> was, was he fat? Is that why he says that? I'm going to assume so, but that's his Instagram that's handle. Awesome, I love man. it. That's I'm just awesome going to, you know, I'm going to make. Uh, Scotty O'Brien, 100% all star. Goat. He's that, got like what a team? 90 team? Jersey, Jersey trash, trash, bro. Dude, he's got like a 92% save percentage. Yeah. He's insane. He was player of the month January. Like, yeah, he's a beast. He's awesome, right? He's a beast. So, um, so that's uh, one goalie, and then Savage Monkey's goalie. He's good. Maffy, how do you say it? Maffy, Anthony Maffy. Yeah, he's got to be it. Yeah, I'm. I mean, I'm looking at. A... There's no way like you can go outside. Right, of give me one, he's, give he's me one sick sec. Stats, dude. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but you got you got. You got Carroll up there in save percentage. You got Carroll's good. Yeah, he's, he's got. Good. I mean, eight games played. I actually am a big advocate of uh, Rain City's goalie too. Right. Um, yeah, yeah. Just because we can get him on the GoPro. So let's let's talk, <laughs> let's let's talk about this for a second. So we got Scott O'Brien, Carroll Kuzinski, Brad Shuksta, and Anthony Maffey. Give me the stats. So what's the goals against? So Anthony Maffey is actually fourth in terms of stats. I mean, he's got an eighty-eight uh, save percentage, so point eight seven seven. Okay. Uh, he's played eight games. Um, goals allowed average is 4.6. So let's do that. Yeah. Um, best in, in terms of save percentage, Scott O'Brien, Carol, Brad, then Anthony. Best in terms of goals allowed. <clears throat> uh, is Rain City number one in silver? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I believe so. Either that or Dexter. Yeah. I'll, 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 let's get back to that. Be- best in terms of goals allowed is Scott, Brad, Carol, and then Anthony's not even on the top 12 on this list. So. So we can um, go Brad. I, I like Brad. Um, I think we're going to have to go dude, down I to... I watch those videos, like the videos of him. I'm a big advocate of he's, Brad. He's a big big save guy. Yeah. He's a good goalie. Yeah. I don't know if maybe because I'm only I'm watching him literally from behind the net. Right. And he's good. But So I, him and Carroll in terms of stats are really close. So yeah. I think we already have Scott so, representing the Browns division. I think we so go with... Uh, so Carroll had... Um, Two games in the very beginning of the season, where he had like two back to back shutouts. Where yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was a, it was a nice. Uh, yeah, they had a nice start to the season. Yeah. yeah. So it's got to be. It's got to be Scott. I'm. I'm thinking Scott O'Brien and Brad and Brian. Jigs. Let's go with Scott and Brad. Uh, yeah, I mean, I like and then we can do. We can do. Uh, yeah. Anthony would be the second, yeah. third reserve option. or whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't like doing more than two goalies. I agree, but like it's also the All Star game. Um, but you don't want to like, I don't know me. I wouldn't want to like come out of the game. Yeah, three periods. You know. What I mean? All right, like, fine. Yep, that's Agreed. just my opinion. Like, we can roll three goalies if you want, or four goalies. But you know, I don't know. It's, we don't have to roll anything. I think just kind of shouting them out here. It's you know. and they may not make it, dude. Like Brad may not be make. That's it. Not, that's what I'm saying. So we'll put Anthony yeah. as the top reserve here. Yeah, we got Scott and Brad starting. Yeah, it's um, not gonna hurt to have Brad like streaming our game either. So. Yeah, yeah. Let's well, hopefully, uh, hopefully, if he comes out, hopefully he's uh, he's into it. So, yeah, yeah. all right. So that rounds out the All Star rosters. Um, I'm gonna let's name him off, dude. Yeah, Doing official. We're gonna have to divide them into teams too. 
Um, I'm gonna, I can handle that. We, I, uh, already, I, I could do that. So you got a structure on that one? Yeah, I'll, I'll split them up because we got to make it as even as possible. We do have some bronze guys, but the, I mean, the bronze guys are good players. Like they're gonna be. Yeah, yeah, it'll, it'll be, be fine. Really keep it'll up. be fine. So I'll split, uh, let's get yeah. that ready for next next. Week. I'll split them up naturally. So we have um. All right. So I'll go gold. You do silver. So so we got Cody Moore, Robert Bascow, Ryan MacArthur, John Kennedy, Russ Welsh. Mike Lapari, Sean Lippicott, and James Lowry for gold. Yeah, and then uh, in silver we got Ross Bryan, Matt Megger, Brad Vitarini, Brett Vitarini, Joey Crespo, James Pielli. Uh, we got Hunter Herrera. Uh, and then we got Kevin McCafferty. Yep. All right, for bronze we got Chris Alfinito, Big Alf, Tom Lizio, Josh Taylor, Anthony Amato, Steady. Hunter, steady. <laughs> steady. Hunter Sawicki, Brian Clegg, and Jake Elliott. Go Birds. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, and then just, just to recap on the goals, we've got Scott O'Brien from Jersey Trash, and we got Brad Shooksley from Rain City Pigeons. Got it. All right. All right. So we're rounding out the all-star selections. we got to get Jerry back involved in this podcast because he's been hanging out just drinking. Listen, yeah, uh, he, it same. turns out he's not too plugged in with what's going on with the league. Uh, you know, um <laughs> He He's didn't really like, have too much input there, but we do got some stuff that, I uh, that good Jerry's home good. alone comment. That, that, I mean, I thought that <laughs> I'm not sure if that's going to go over too well with the boys, but the uh, podcast <laughs> off pretty good, dude. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Um, you know, he's just slamming Michelob Ultras over there. But listen, yeah. I, listen, I had the hazy bones. It was good. Um, yeah. Maybe a little gassy, but it was. Uh, <laughs> is that why you? Is that why you've been so quiet over there? Yeah, yeah, I mean, what the uh, fuck? <laughs> we had to mute his microphone. A few times, dude. <laughs> listen, I'm I'm just not as in t- you know I'm I'm new to this. I'm new to this, so I'm not, I'm not as I in tune you. to the league. I, I will get there. He is a uh, Rangers. I hope fan. so. I, mean, I am a Rangers fan. So once you. Uh, Bro. Once you started talking about Brian Patty Leach, Kane, I, baby. I, yo, once you talk about Brian Leach, I felt a little movement. Funny uh, <laughs> downstairs, but once uh, listen, I, I have a funny story about. I, I, he just Larry just got that. Uh, I have a funny story about Brian Leach. Right when we were in fifth grade, we had to write a letter to one of um, you know famous person, whatever. Right, so I wrote it to Brian Leach. The only problem is Mark Messier just like left and made Brian Leach captain. Yeah. So I was just the, the whole letter. Instead of just saying how big of a fan I was to Brian Leach, I was like, you know, I'm Fuck upset. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking more about Mark Messi. How dare he do that to you? That right. bald bitch. Right. So I was more upset about Mark Messi leaving, and I'm like, oh, I guess you'll be a good captain, you know, making up for that. <laughs> I guess. This and that. I guess it'd be all right. It was like such like a terrible letter. He to didn't write. read this. That what? No, of course this? he didn't read it. No, I got, well, I, I, the, dude. I got. I'm just saying, like <laughs> as a fifth grader, like I, you know, you're it, writing a letter to Brian Lee. I wrote a letter to Brian Lee, and I got like a postcard back of the New York Rangers. So I was like, that's anyone pretty under good. the age of what. 25. You may not even. Do you know who Brian Leach is? Nah. You got Jesus. It. What? <laughs> what? What do you guys like? How old he is? <laughs> Wait, how old are you? I'm 28. I mean, oh uh, if he was, if he was a flyer, would you? Do you know older flyers? Not like necessarily. 90s, That's not. He might. He might not flyers? even be before my time. I just didn't really pay attention 90s. to the NHL when I was younger. Nice. Yeah. Later. 90s. Yeah. He was, he was a good player. He was a good. He yeah. was a scoring defenseman. Dude, I ended up being the captain. I mean, I know the name. I, I can't think of like highlights off the top of my head. Dude, honestly, God, when it, uh, last year, I thought like when the Rangers lost, I thought uh, they're probably going to win it next year for sure. And yep. then they pick up Tarasenko and Patty Kane. And Kane, yeah, it's, yeah, they're dude, gonna, they're going to be dude, good. Pat, Patty I Kane. fucking hate that I like Patty Kane. I love it. I it love Patty Kane. It fucking drives me crazy. Like he's literally the. Like the bane of my existence he's as a, a Flyers the, fan. He's a little bit on the older side, isn't he? How old is he? You haven't gotten over that? Yeah, he's, Dude, he's an older guy. No, I haven't fucking guy. gotten yeah. over that. Are you kidding me? I've been watching the Flyers since I was like three years old. My I can't dad's hate him. Flyers I can't fan. hate him Dude. for some like shitty goal he got against the, the Flyers in the Stanley Cup Finals. It wasn't even just the Stanley Cup Finals. The whole series. Him and fucking Dude, Dustin he's, Bufflin he's a, fucking dude, destroyed dude, us. They were, they were nasty. That was when I first started it's watching the NHL, to be honest dude. with you. Like, no, but yeah. if we didn't have a fucking... If we had a solid goalie in that series, we would have won. Like, we be, we were a better team than them. Mm-hmm. They had better goaltending. Yeah. From fucking... Ne- what was his name? Fuck. I don't know, dude. Um, no, I feel like an asshole. All I know is the Rangers what, they're, have they're, an they're asshole. goalie in the Stanley so. Cup? Yeah, dude. Like... What was that, 2010? The, See, the you, reason why I don't remember him is because he was time. good in that series, and then he oh, literally... Was it, was it was, Crawford? No, no. It was... um, What was his name, dude? But, like... Niemi? Niemi, yeah. Dude, like, he was shit after that. 
Yeah. But anyway, if we had set, like Brian Boucher got hurt and um, uh, what's his name came in, dude who let in the fucking call. I saw him with the thing. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, but like people are freaking out. They're listening to. He, <laughs> he was good in the Eastern Conference Finals. He had like what two shutouts in the Eastern Conference Finals. Um, mm-hmm. f- but the finals, he was just shit, dude. Like game one, we should have won. Yeah. And then that last goal was terrible. Like it was just terrible. Yeah, was, that's, I, I remember that happening. But like I said, that was when I first started. It's just that was when you first started watching. Dude. Yeah, I, look, dude, because I was playing hockey. I didn't, Christ, I didn't dude. like watching it. I really didn't like watching it when I was younger. Listen, the reason why I haven't gotten over it is because I've been watching the Flyers lose every year for at least what twenty five years, maybe more. Terribly. Yeah. And the thing is, and now it's okay that they lose only because it's, like, expected. But back in the day, like, they put it together a competitive team every year. Right. And still lost. And still lost. <laughs> every fucking year. Like, you thought that they were going to win every year. Yeah. Like, people talk shit on Bobby Clark and Paul Hunger and whatever. Paul Hunger, yeah, whatever. But, like, mostly Bobby Clark as a GM. But we had a competitive team every year. And as long as Ed Snyder, when Ed Snyder was alive, mm-hmm. like, we had a good team every year, pre-salary cap era, pre-lockout. Like, right. we had a good fucking team every year. We made the playoffs every year. We're like the Red Wings. Like, the Red Wings made the playoffs fucking consistently. Um, but Red Wings won. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, yeah. Um, that's so Mike, so Michael right. Layton was the Michael first Layton, goal in 2010. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and I just wanted to point out that Duncan Keith was probably my first, like, favorite player, to be honest with you. I hate to say that. I mean, I can't. Um, and Seabrook, they, they had a yeah, really good dude, team. Yeah, yeah. Like, they had a good team, but they were so young still. Like, dude, they were, they team, were like, dynasty mode. They were, like, in the infancy, but, like, I don't feel like they should have won that series. Like, they would have won the year after or the year after that, but, like, they were right in the beginning of it all, dude. Right. Like, honestly. And we should have won that with Danny Breer had like 30 points throughout the playoffs, which at that time, 30 points was a lot. Dude. Yeah. Like he led, I think he led the playoffs in points. Yeah. Mr. Playoffs. Like he's the most deserving player that never won a Stanley Cup. Yeah. That should have won a Stanley Cup because he always showed up in the playoffs. Lundquist? Lundquist probably should have won, dude. Like they got, they got close, but most deserving. Is, I think he deserved to, to win a Stanley Cup. He was deaf. But there's a lot of good goalies that never won. That's true. There's a lot of good goalies that never won. Like, I just want to. I just want to keep bringing up the Rangers because. <laughs> yeah, but you got to bring up that Kings, the Martinez goal, to win the, the Stanley Cup winning goal. You couldn't ask for better fucking game. Basically, like an like overtime yeah. Stanley Cup winning goal. That's not that's Patty Kane goal. That's fucking every, ignore that. Are we, Patty are we gonna goal? get into some like Rangers history now? That was no, that was, sure just, if, that was uh, just everybody's dream. Like yeah. every kid's dream yeah, in any sport. It doesn't, it doesn't even have to be hockey. In any kid's sport. Yeah, yeah like it's a like walk off, walk off winner, buzzer like. beater. Just dude, yes. overtime yeah. goal. Like that's yeah, that's dude, the greatest thing ever. And the fucking shittiest part about the Flyers 2010 goal is that it was the shittiest fucking walk off goal. I remember. It was like nobody even knew that it went in. Yep. I, I was like fucking zoned in. I was literally three feet from my TV watching because I was like in for sweat, all of you that for all of you that can't see Steve right now, he is freaking out. Right now. He's <laughs> ready to try not to look he's, he's ready to break the table. Top, right now. He is top three worst mind. days of my life. All right, top three worst I, days. Of my life. I, I, I've had a pretty decent life. I, you know, what, you know what's funny? I think, <laughs> so, I think some of our listeners are. This is going to be the top it sucks three even more of our lives <laughs> right now. <laughs> listening so to this right now. Upset. So if we want to, so if we want to transition here, I think uh, never, dude. Our resident, never, dude. Uh, yeah, Speaking of uh, Jerry, yeah. our resident Rangers fan, uh, we did go. we did go over uh, we did go over our beer of the week segment. Yes, uh, we just wanted to throw in as a kind of a placeholder here. We do want to promote um, everyone else's businesses and stuff like that. So we would take on. Uh, some input if you if you guys have any ideas anything anything you guys want to promote we're we're more than happy to do so I it's kind sh- of one of the main reasons we're here. I can um, shout out some businesses right now. Uh, Snap, yeah, all right. So so Snap before Fitness, Steve, twenty four before, seven. Yeah, yeah. Before, so Steve, New Jersey. Steve will shout out a few businesses. Let come to us. Dude. Um, we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna do a segment though. We're gonna do a segment though going forward. Um, we'll we'll bring you guys in. and You guys can talk about it a little bit more. So Steve, you want to name a couple of businesses that you want to shout no, out? Wait, 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 I, 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 I was in the middle of something here. I don't know if we want to give them the free publicity. I was I, I was in the one. middle I of a, I was in the middle of a transition, and Steve just yeah, you know, he's, interrupts he's, me. These are being trying to guys. As I'm trying to structure this a little bit. All right, all right. So anyway, we're gonna do a beer of the week, or is it was it Dusty Beaver brew of the week? We did that, dude. No, no. I'm 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 I'm. 
recapping. It's called Dust, the recap. We're going to do Dusty Beaver's Brew of the Week, and then we're going to add in some other sections for uh, for you guys to promote. Um, so the next thing I want to do real quick is the uh, Game of the Week selection. Um, I'm not sure if, if you guys keep your eyes open. We're, we're trying to do uh, weekly articles here um, to go over the Game of the Week, to, to update the leaderboards, playoff pictures, and uh, – I think right now it, it, I, I would like to get everyone's input on game of the week. So, <clears throat> dude, a game of the week is fucking. Wait, with this past week? Yeah, yeah. It's from mm. basically everything that just happened. When did we beat the Savage Monkeys? Because that was definitely game top game of the week. I it was ten I was, to nine. I was I was thinking that um, be Savage. Savage Monkeys played two overtime games this week. Uh, one against the Night's Watch and one against us on Sunday. I, as a personal participant in that game, will say that that was a, that was a good game. We won in overtime. No, we won in regulation. We no, we won. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. So we beat them in regulation. They played in overtime later in the week. Night's uh, Watch. We beat. Yeah, yeah. And then we beat the Mighty Drunks in overtime for 24 yeah, seven. Um, big time. So, I will say. <laughs> I, I will say. Uh, that game against Savage Monkeys, I think, was that their first loss? The first loss of the season. Um, it was. It was what ten to seven, dude. That was scary. And, and they scored two goals, and I'm, I'm not even kidding. You, like twenty seconds. That was a scary. They, yeah, they turned they almost, up. They almost scored again. They turned up. It, it, it got a little scary for a second. So it was ten to seven with what thirty seconds left. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Um. So just just based off of the, this week's games, a lot of them weren't really that close. So we're definitely gonna go with twenty four seven Savage Monkeys. Cool with that for sure. All right. That's the only because the only reason why you're agreeing to that is because you scored a goal in that. Thank yeah, you. I'm gonna uh, just keep it. Keep your eyes out. I'm gonna. Uh, Go ahead and put my stats up there. Larry Legend. Um, Larry Legend. Yeah, yeah so. points on Larry, though, in that, that division. Yeah, keep your eye out for that. Keep <laughs> yeah, your, Larry, we, we, we haven't talked about Steve in, like, 30 seconds. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's, yeah, let's I, bring I, it back to him. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Guys, uh, How the, the, sorry. How let, dare let's you? Let's let Steve uh, rant right now. Yeah. So, thank, so, that's the game of the week. We're going to uh, keep your eye out for that. We'll do the leaderboard updates, and then I want to do a player playoff picture. I'm going to do a playoff picture right segment. No, in, in the article, I'm going to. Get everyone updated on the playoff picture. All right. All right. Uh, so last thing I want to do, too, is the commissioner's notes. So we have some announcements this week. Kamish, let's hear it. What are we talking we, about? We have right. some announcements this week, including the playoff structure, uh, threes, um, in partnership with our new partner, Hollydale Ice Arena. Yeah. Um, let's go. And we have, a, uh, we have another season coming up. So let's, uh, let's yeah. hear from the commissioner himself. Ooh, Live in, commissioner's notes. In. Also, uh, commissioner, a.k.a. Uh, was number two scorer on the 24-7. Oh, God, here we go. <laughs> Dude, proceed. What am I, third, fourth, and the Hawks? I don't know. All right, listen. <laughs> Is there anything you want to say about our announcements this week? I, I just wanted no, to wake everybody no, up. Just everybody about, wake up, so Stephen. I just want to talk about Continue. me all mm-hmm. the time. No, no. Yeah. no honestly, uh, so big news. So we did get a uh, partnership with Hollydale Ice Arena, which uh, that's probably that's Larry's home rink. Right? Yeah, I've been playing there since I was like four years old. Yeah, man. Uh, shout out to Jim Mackey. He's done a great job uh, turning that rink around. Beautiful restaurant up top. Dunlops. Um, you know, redid both rinks. Added a rink over at Choice. Um, it's been been awesome, dude. Honestly, for the hockey community, it's been great. He's added, a, I think he's added a juniors team. He's added um, a bunch of a bunch of teams like he's done a great job yeah but um so uh what we're gonna do over there is we're gonna start an over 18 league just like our normal league over at flyers training center but it's gonna be at hollywood ice arena uh if you're interested in joining that league or putting a team in it's uhlhockey.com slash join yeah uh we're ask out here's your opportunity <laughs> he's gonna play in both leagues uh-huh. so we got a couple questions on that so it's gonna be two separate leagues for now right now we're garnering interest on how we're going to distribute all the teams and any new teams right? yeah so basically they don't have an over 18 league at uh highlight all ice arena so we're pretty much putting interest out or putting engaging interest out for teams to figure out what level we have you know we don't want to have you know five teams and two BA teams and three BC teams. Like we want to kind of really spread yeah. it out. So, um, you know, if you're interested, go ahead and register, put your team in. Um, you know, we, we will have opportunities for other uh, things at Hollywood Ice Arena. One of those things being three on three, Yo, which is going to be fun. Uh, there's a futures rink at Hollywood Ice Arena. So it's this little tiny rink, um, perfect for three on three. It's tough. It's a, it's a physical. Yeah. It's a really tough game you know you're in this tiny little rink you gotta have hands 
in tight or you got to be really okay at, you no, back, know. Back with the hands with you. Like, what? I'm all about hands. Oh, dude. my goodness. All right, continue. <laughs> uh, so it'll be a single-day tournament, uh, three-on-three, six-player minimum plus a goalie. Uh, it'll be one 25-minute running clock. Basically, what we're going to do is a single-day tournament that is lasts all day. So it could start at 9 a.m., and depending on the amount of teams, it probably it'll reach out to like 6 to 8 p.m. Uh, before we announce a winner, or we determine a winner. Uh, it'll be a s- single game semifinals, single game finals. Um, basically, you get to hang out all day. It's yeah, it's what seventy five bucks a player, which yep. is fucking dirt cheap to just hang out at Holiday and play all day. It's dude, awesome, I dude. personally can't wait for those. I was sure. playing it. Like, yeah, Tom reached out to me. He's like, me, you, and Larry. Like, let's do it. Yo, like, we'll do it three <laughs> dude, dude, so I'm fun. not gonna lie. I'm a little offended. <laughs> Yeah. Dusty or, or Jerry will be there. Um, Jerry will be there. Jerry will be there. Jerry the Greek spectating. Jer- he'll be spe- he'll be there Listen, spectating. Jer- Jerry the Greek Greek will come by. <laughs> yeah, I've the had Greek. A, I've had a few beers. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. You guys are talking to Aki a lot. Loop back to the beginning of this cracking. podcast where he's singing. Listen, I'm not gonna lie. It, it's been a good time. But listen, Jerry the Greek will be there. Sideline interviews. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Hanging at Dunlops, getting a little drink in, getting a little. Appetizers in, yeah, you know, absolutely. Yep. Listen, it's gonna be so much fun, dude. Honestly, like we're we're trying to like make this single day tournament repetitive. Like you can go there once a month and hang out all day on a Saturday or all day on a Sunday. Hang out with your boys, yeah, dude, and girls. Go up, hang out in the bar, you know, play hockey all day. And trust me, like it's four. What is this? Four games that you play round robin games. And four 25-minute running clock periods, if you have six players, you're going to be, like, dead. Like, it's tough. Yeah. Like, it's it's a workout for sure. And then you have semifinals and finals if you make it. Top four would make it. Um, you know, that's – it's it's going to be pretty sweet. Yeah, it'll be good, man. We're going to do um, regular tournaments. You know, we just had our Winter Classic tournament at Flyers Trading Center, and that was awesome. Larry can't stop talking about it. Dude, such a blast. <laughs> it was so much fun. Nostalgic. It, it really was so much fun. Mm-hmm. Like, it – Hanging out all day at the rink, staying at the Holiday Inn, <laughs> you know. I think you're the only one who did that. I was the only one who did that. But <laughs> yeah, it yeah. was fun, dude. It was really fun. Dusty you know, hanging out with all the teams and just the atmosphere was was crazy. And um, you know, great games too. Great games, really good games. Yeah, yeah, it was really close. Like I don't think there was really any blowout games. Um, nah, that maybe that a few, maybe a couple, but it was it was really fun. So we're gonna try to rep. Repeat that tournament. We're gonna do that yep. at Hollydale. Um, you know, there's checking for charity in the summer. We're probably gonna be around the March, April time frame, and then sometime in early summer, maybe like June, July, we'll do a tournament. Um, we have a lot of rinks to work with. Uh, Hollydale specific is like really fun to be at. So. Hell yeah, dude! Yeah, they did a lot of good work over there with the renovations. It looks completely different than than when I was growing up there. Yeah. So big announcement there. You guys can find all that stuff on the website too. Um, uh, one more thing: the uh, playoff structure for our current season was announced too. You can check out the article on the website. We are doing uh, three game series for the finals. Mm-hmm. Um, that's hype for sure. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, spring summer like we just said, we're doing Holio and Voorhees coming up, but that'll start May. 8th, so go on the website, get some more information. Oh. Yeah, um, I would love to do three game series for the semifinals. Yeah, but yeah. right now it's you know rather than raise the prices, we kind of want to keep it the way that it is. Cause yeah, we, I we think actually I, didn't even cool. plan for a three game series for the finals. That was that came in probably a month into the season. We were like, you know, we yeah, should I think pro- someone just randomly yeah. brought that up. Yeah, yeah, somebody brought it up, and I was like, you know, and they brought up three game finals, and I was like, we got to do that. Like that's just it. It feels so real. Mm-hmm. Like it feels like a real. Um, you know, it's not like a seven game NHL series, but three game series is like you really have a chance. Like, if you have a single game, yeah, it builds a little more competition. For yeah, sure. If you have a single game finals, like any team can essentially win, like any given night. But three game series, like you really, the best team is probably going to win. Yep. You know, um, did we get that idea from that? I don't know, man. I know Grundy does it. Yeah, I know. A I just want to get Nat's teams. name in there. Nat does it too, but Nat yeah. does. Um, Three game semis and three game finals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I which, just wanted to shout out to Nat Nettikino you know, for sure. Yeah, dude, that's my guy. The bull for sure. He's um, a creative genius. There, right? Yeah, dude. But dude, for sure. So that was uh, that's it for the commissioner's notes. Um, just cut you know, me off. Maybe I have a maybe no, a bunch done. more to you're, talk you're, about. No, dude. no, you're done. Steve. 
Damn, Jerry, Jerry's had enough. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry's had enough of the commissioner's notes. Jesus. Yeah, I mean, he's like kind of angry. Voice, he's the, you know. I'm just Steve, Steve likes to hear himself talk. Passion, this is yeah. the first time he's, uh, he's been in this setting. Yeah. Um, as far how as. How many points you have again? A lot, dude. I don't, I mean, I don't even want to hear I got to be averaging at least three. Oh, God. All right. Go, go. Move on. Dude, dude, dude the, 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 the fact that we're going to be doing more <laughs> tournaments, more stuff like that, I, I honestly can't wait. I, it's going to be so sick. Um, we're changing adult hockey, bro. Yeah, dude. Uh, we're pioneers, the, man. Dude. <laughs> we want to make uh, it, dude. We want it to be a real fleet. Yeah. Like, we want it to feel real. Like, yeah. Do you know why? Because you're proud to be. You know, <laughs> so, right? No, all right. So, all right listen, I was see, go. I would have faded out the <laughs> podcast in that, dude. You just ruined Wait, it. what he just did? Or what? Yeah, yeah, dude, I would have ended it on that, dude. I would have ended it on that. On what he said? Yeah, dude. I would have yeah, I think you should, but I, I, like what, I like what you were <laughs> saying. But, dude, you know. I love it, dude. It's so, listen, what we're about, man, is like people, it's funny, dude. I'll, I'm looking Larry in the eye right now. I know, it's kind of like, awkward. When we first started, people were kind of made a mockery of taking men's league serious, right? Yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden, we're what two months into the season, two and a half months into the season. Yeah. It, that script has completely just flipped. Yep. Because once they see that, oh, it can be something that you take serious, or something that can be competitive, or something that can be, you know, something that you're proud of playing. Mm-hmm. In, all of a sudden, now all of a sudden, it changes. Like. Everyone's on board. Everyone's bought in. Like, yes, sir. We're not sitting here trying to make like, like we got a couple of people who are who are like um, skeptical when they see like a guy who's got five points in a game, six yeah. points in a game. It's like, okay, well, this isn't beer league, dude. Like, this yeah. is a league that you come in and you compete to play. Yeah, we like, all need it. Yeah, we all need it as like, human beings. And if you don't, if you don't like competition, mm-hmm. if you don't like playing, like playing like that, then don't play or drop down. You know. Yeah, a division like yeah. we 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 want to make it so when you leave when you're not playing competitive hockey anymore you're jumping into something that's competitive mm-hmm. like that doesn't mean you have to end just because you turn 18 yeah or you're out of college or you stop playing whatever level that you're yep. playing like you can jump right in and play a league that makes sense you might even say that it's the ultimate, <laughs> it's ultimate. adult hockey it's the league ultimate adult hockey. another like we will always do shit that is. Over the top. Yeah, like we have a fucking not. mascot. That's I mean, a beat. Listen, Dusty <laughs> like, will come like, and show dude. up. Yeah, for real. <laughs> people, <All right. laughs> people say shit all the time. They're like, okay, well, what can you do? Like, I'm, I'm like, okay, we'll do whatever we can do to yeah. go over the top. Like, yeah. anything you would think of. No, let us we'll know. Do. You know, like, shout out. Shout out. Let us know what, what we can do. What we can do better. What we can do more of. Yeah, we're always taking input. How much more can we do? Like, I want to roll out when we have the finals game. I want to roll out a fucking carpet. I want to set up a table that will with the probably trophy. happen, by the way. It, it sounds like a, a rough idea now, but I know for a fact Steve's planning on making it. <laughs> like, literally, we'll do But not it. red. It's got to be like, orange. It's got to be an orange. But if you guys carpet. boo me like fucking Gary Batman, I will lose my Nobody's mind. Nobody's going to boo you. I work hard at this. Nobody's going to boo you. I don't think anyone's going to boo you. Be, There's not going to be anybody in the stands I mean, to I, boo I, you necessarily. I, yeah. I don't think anybody on the ice will be booing you. Maybe I'll say like this. I was about pause, to, I might be in the corner. Pause. I get it, guarantee you the finals game is going to be fucking packed, dude. Uh, I can fucking guarantee you. Just do, from can knowing, I, do I need to bring up the schedule? What, what time is the game? It doesn't even matter. It's like 8 o'clock it's 11, on a Wednesday. Eight, <laughs> eight, o'clock's not, 8 o'clock is not bad. I, I honestly think playoffs might you, you might get some friends and family out there for the playoffs for, for sure for sure we do yeah. want we do want to make that so on top of doing our tournaments and stuff like that the thought of making the playoffs like a big thing too yeah. I want to we need to in the future I'm thinking like merch and stuff for playoffs live stream yeah yeah just yeah. cool shit around commentators the yeah I want to have play by play what is it called Ooh. color announce is that racist color announcement. <laughs> Cut. What is it called? Color commentators? Yeah, color commentators. Color commentators. That sounds racist. Yeah, they bring color to the radio bro- broadcast. What does that even mean? They bring the they put the picture to life. They paint the picture right there, like Bob Ross. I just made that off of the top. Of my head. <laughs> like Bob I just Ross, made yeah. that up <laughs> off like the top Bob of my Ross. head. It's all right. Let's just turn this into a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> I made a, I made that up off the top of my head, this but a uh, pretty cloud. <laughs> Yeah, I got um, you. No, for real, we'll have live streaming. I honestly want to take this to whatever level we can take it to. I will, I will go that. I will yeah. go there. Yeah. You know? Love it. I don't feel any type of way. 
It is the ultimate adult hockey league. Um, sure. So in it's terms the ultimate of the hockey podcast, before we 80. started, I really wanted to get Steve on some sort of structure. But uh, as Fuck far as structure. the conclusion goes, oh I don't, I, I don't, I don't really know. Um, we're definitely going to cut that part where you said, "Is that racist?" We're no, just going to cut that out. But I just asked. You got to ask now. I don't know why you're asking questions like that. But the NFL that uses that. Um, I'm loading it, and just like that, we're canceled. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> After it's the been first a good episode. run. Yeah, yeah. We made, we made it over an hour. So, I mean, like, yeah, yeah. it's been a good run. Hour but anyway, hour. in terms of structure, uh, the last thing that I have was conclusion. I don't know, Jared, if you had anything in mind. Uh, but... Conclusion. I, like, I could, I could get it back into the song. Yeah. No, I'm not. No. I don't want to do that. I what do I will that. say is, we're going to be coming to you guys every, like I said, every single week. Hot. We're going to, uh, you know, try to bring you guys insider info and updates around the league. We're, uh, we're, so, until on. next week. We're every week as long as Jerry can escape from. Listen, listen, I got to talk to my boss. Um, <laughs> the theoretical approach is uh, each week. And I want to um, say one. Yes. Let me, t- TBD. Let me end it one way. You're, you're going to end it? Because I was going to I was gonna end it. No, Larry kind of wants to end it, I can tell. No, no, we're going to end it because it's already been. I just want to say I appreciate everybody who's um, who obviously listens. Everyone who's played in the league. Um, honestly, every reservation I had about starting a league. Every concern I had has been just non-existent, man. Yeah. Like, everyone's been so good, captains, players. Uh, when it comes to payment, USA hockey numbers, when it comes to playing, uh, everyone's bought in. Dude, we have over 300 players, Yeah, and every single one has been really, really awesome. Appreciate the and, support. And I think that, um, you know, we're giving some – giving a product out, something that hasn't been done before. And um, everyone's really appreciative, and we're appreciative of everyone buying in and doing those things. So um, just a, a big thank you to everyone. Uh, this is like a, you know, dream of mine and Larry's and, you know, oh, yeah. eventually Jerry's. My, mine of ten <laughs> minute, uh, an hour ago. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, in. you know, it's much appreciated. Uh, I'm going to hand it over to Larry before I get uh, – Emotional. Yeah, dude. He's yeah, right. I, I see tears. I see tears. There's no, there's no, <laughs> nah, we, we, we don't have any tissues. What Steve said, obviously, I uh, I um, I repeat the same sentiment. So we appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Yeah. I think it's time. So that Peace, bro. So don't, don't stop it. Yeah, we, can still, we can still continue with the banter. No, stop but. it. Stop it. I got a piece. Yeah, so uh, right, so right. so I've, I've, I've been questioning, you know, if I can leave or not. So I think it's time. All right, All right, boys. Dude, that was sick. Till next time. That was so Love fun. Love you guys. Later. So See fun. you.